Uh, no, those are evil. Brother, no! What was that? My brother are dead. I need revenge. <laughs> Wondering how this happened? Radiation. Wondering where the radiation came from? Don't ask. Please, no! This is practice, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, it is. It'll pretend it's open. Yeah. You want some? No, those are evil. Suit yourself. I'm recording this for bloopers. Yeah, put ketchup on it. Okay. Just put ketchup all over it. Let me see that. Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat it. Not just yet. We'll record it when you eat it. Okay, I should put this back in the yeah. fridge. <laughs> all right. Where it belongs. Why does it have? Ah! You're dripping! <laughs> oh my god. Ah! <laughs> okay, I will be right back. Clean your braces. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Wait, do I need toilet more blood? Am I mouth? No, you're fine. <laughs> what was that? Wait, doesn't he have to be in the whale costume? <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Wondering how this happened? Two, one, ready? I'm dead. <laughs> we'll put you in front of a cool background. Wah! Get back! <laughs> Oops. Yeah. We need to say goodbye to the good old ships. Goodbye! Wait. Ready? We don't need them no more. I, I stepped on them. supposed to be like that? Not for me. A unicorn needs a superhero outfit. I wonder if these will go well as a costume. Okay, let me see. 
I'd hate to admit it, but I don't think this will strike fear into the heart of my enemies. <sighs> they need a new costume. Then, Christ is the curse. Ducks, everybody knows what they're- Hands up! Hands up! But picking an outfit isn't easy. You know, in, now that I think about it, this may be a little bit too flashy. Now I'm Elsa, the wonderful unicorn! But that isn't what is important right now. If only there was a unicorn based superhero to save me. Please help. If only their savior was there to save them. Excuse me, Nias. Do you think that this goes well with my home? Or does it make the blue in my eyes pop out? Okay, back to the drawing board. As the unicorn is at the store, the crime escalates. He's running away! He's running away! He's running away! He's running away. He's running away. Ah. Well, I got you. I got you. Yay! Yay. Finds his outfit. It is. Oh my god! I found it! I found it! I found the perfect outfit! And 
that's why it's an absolute issue that the pumpkin spice latte is only offered like two months out of the year. Um, so now we are going to be talking to Jeff, the manager from Freddie Fazbear's Pizzeria, about the recent incident that happened there. So we're going to have Louise, Louisiana on the scene. Louise. Thanks, Random Disc Girl. I'm here with Jeff, the manager, the manager of Freddie Fazbear's Pizzeria, here to talk about the recent events that took place at the Chuck E. Cheese ripoff. So Mr. Manager, could you explain the first thing that happened? Yeah, so like, the dude came into work and me and the phone guy were just getting ready for initiation. So what's was the first weird thing that he did? Um, well, he first started talking like some YouTuber with those 12 million subs or whatever. Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza while we are watching the campus tonight. Hey. Just gonna sit here. Hello? Hi, uh, hi, oh, you're gonna take me over the rules. Oh, okay, don't touch Freddy. Don't mess with the animatronics. Don't poop on the floor? Okay, um, I'm just gonna pretend I didn't hear that one. Um, everything else is standard. Animatronics group? This guy's nuts! <laughs> And then we said something about the animatronics coming alive as an initiation. And, uh, well, then all hell broke loose. This clip may be violent for younger viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Okay. Whoa, she moved. Alright, um... Well, why is that poster different? Oh my god! Whoa, 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 no. What? Oh my. What was that? Oh. Oh my god. Ah, what the. Okay, I think he's gone. Alright, um. Okay. Oh great, they all moved! Um. Oh, what should I do? Pumpkin Spice. Wait, like, how long was I asleep for? That interview was like three in the morning. Oh, great. It's still July. Okay, but I literally just had a dream where it was like October and I was wearing my Uggs and there was Pumpkin Spice. Can somebody give me Pumpkin Spice? And that is why Starbucks is closing. So on to other news. Um, we have Louise, Louisiana, interviewing, um, what's his name? Oh, Jeff the manager from Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria to talk about the recent incident that happened there. Oh no. Hello? Hello? Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, you're going you're gonna to have to walk me through this? The, the manual? Okay, I'm, I'm here. What am I doing? Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah. Uh, Five, four, three, two, Could you explain how it all started? Uh, yeah, so like, the dude came into work and me and phone guy were just getting ready for initiation. 
And so what was the first weird thing that he did? I have no idea. <laughs> Hi. How are you doing? Good, good, that's good, yeah. Oh, okay, you're, you're here to talk to me through the manual? Animatronics, that's a big word. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Toodles. That guy was weird. It all began one day when Pascal had awoken from the best nap of his life. After he awoke, he smelled the most beautiful smell. It turned out to be a flower. Being adventurous, Pascal went over to it to explore. Once he took the bite of the flower though, he fell into a deep sleep. He had no idea it was so magical. When Pascal finally awoke from his long slumber, he looked up and saw a dark figure in the distance. Knowing that he would be in trouble soon if he did not get out of the way, he ran and hid right behind a nearby tree, waiting to see what would happen next. What Pascal saw next shocked him beyond belief. An evil witch soon approached to try and steal the magic flower. However, she was almost caught by villagers, so she dropped the flowers and ran off in a dash. Pascal was very confused. Pascal continued to be curious about what the witch was doing. She had just run into a random building. So, he took it upon himself to find a nice bush and to hide keeping track of what the witch was about to do next. Clearly she was a thief and could not be trusted, so Pascal waited patiently. To Pascal's astonishment, the witch had stolen the princess, the small, small baby princess. Pascal knew what he had to do next. He crawled after her as quickly as he could and knew that he must follow her and save the child. The witch then used her magic to fly up the nearby castle. Pascal quickly followed. Kind of. What the? Stand up. How long have you been following me for? A flower. What? A talking chameleon. Interesting. So since the flower, you've been following me around. Mm -hmm. And you saw me try and pick the flower. Mm -hmm. Well, I command you, you are not to tell anyone about the flower or Rapunzel. Got it? Or else what? Or else what? I'll do worse than kill you. I'll turn you into a stew. I think I'll be leaving now. Goodbye! But Pascal knew better than to listen to this terrible witch, so he snuck back in very, very sneakily and decided to wait until the time was right to tell the girl that the witch was not her mother. This 
stay down. Stay down. Don't cause me any trouble here. Oh, before I forget, I have something for you. Oh my, you can talk? <laughs> uh, yeah. How, how can you talk? What even are you? I'm a chameleon. A chameleon? You, you're telling me that you can talk? Yeah, you can hear me talking. Can you? Yeah, I guess so, but how? It's like, how? Don't worry, I'm special. No, 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 no. See ya. Please read it. And don't smash my hand, that hurt. It didn't bug me, but it hurt. Your mother is evil? Seriously? You want me to believe that? Oh yeah, by the way, my name's Pascal. Uh, yeah, I see that. You wrote sign Pascal. <sighs> Take your note and leave. My mother is not evil. Sweetie, I'm home from the market. Hey, Bonnie, how could you? How could I? What? What? Saved by Pascal. Any questions? Nicole always thought that she owned a normal chair. Little did she know, this was no normal chair. Can I move? <laughs> I've got you now! <laughs> but it wasn't a normal chair. Silly girl, you'll never leave me and escape the exploding sun. I don't want to die alone! What was that? Let me go! Never! Will Nicole get out? Find out this February 30th in... The trailer is so better than the movie. Yes, school is about to end. Don't forget that the dance is tomorrow. The theme is Land Ahoy. I won't be able to go to the dance. I'll be a bit beached, but I'll see you Monday. Mom, Dad, I'm home. Oh, hi, honey. How was school? The principal sent out a C-mail saying you had to dance tomorrow. Oh, right. No. No. I have nothing to wear. I guess I'll just have to make it myself. I'm done. I'm done.